with that. Uh, but moving on, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go to uh to top five. We're gonna try to do our top five. We want everybody to do our top five at every position, at all the major positions. Um, so we're gonna start with uh Mike. What's who, what's your top five quarterbacks to finish in fantasy this year? Total points. Who is your top five quarterbacks? Man, and, um, we in, we in a half point PPR. So let's say top five quarter. Well, I don't know if um PPR affect the quarterback as much, but still, um, say most. So let's say half. For all the top five is we acting as if it's half PPR because people who do standard or full, we're gonna say we do half in real men's fantasy. So, so we're gonna say it's half PPR just to make it even across the board. So try to try to be uh, so yeah. top five in um, um, quarterbacks. I mean, like, <clears throat> so well, one, I went Patrick Mahomes, right? Like, if you give somebody, I don't know what, what they give them 12 billion dollars, so you like give that. them somebody 12 billion dollars, you're gonna throw no. the ball. Remember, it was a bad <laughs> contract, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, may, maybe, maybe. Well, he well, with that contract he bought, he bought, he bought half the royal. I mean, he bought a percentage yeah, of the royal. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> whatever they got him, they got him something. He got, he got that baseball team. With they gave him a contract in a baseball team. So I, I take it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So two, <laughs> I, I went Lamar. Uh, only thing I put Mahomes over Lamar, only for the fact that Mahomes did it two years already in a row, and he got hurt last year. Uh, Lamar only did it once. Like real crazy, crazy number. So if he do if he do what he did last year again, you know, all right, you just take Lamar one all the time. <laughs> um, three, I went Dak. Uh, when we on our other show, when we did the top five quarterbacks of just of quarterbacks, not fantasy, just quarterbacks. I think I had Dak number five. I'm expecting yeah. a big year from Dak. Uh, he holding out, so he know he, he got a ball out to get his money. He got his receivers like let's say Blake Jarwin. I didn't even think about him at tight end, and he is – he was way better than – um uh, what's the old head? Witten. Yeah, he was way better than Witten, but since he's Witten, they had to keep him on the field. Um, four, I did go Kyler just because he has that running ability. He got D-hop over there. Drake is now over there for the full year. I think Kyler going to do great. And then five, I went Russell just because um, – I mean, Russ, he, I mean, he's he just consistent. Like, you know what he's going to give you. You know what he's going to do. Um, he's going to go out there, ball out. Uh, if you need somebody that's going to be consistent, you know what they're going to give you. Russell Wilson, number five. Um, For me, I got Dak Prescott, number one. Um, I can echo the same things that Mike said, but I think he's 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 ready for a big year. Um, he got the weapons. And I think his rushing ability is going to take him over the top. I think he should have about 400 rushing yards this year. Um, coupled with probably like, I, I, I was, I was statting him in at like probably 42 touchdowns, but, um, and that's rushing and, and passing as well. So I think Dak Prescott is going to have a really big year. Um, second, I got Lamar Jackson, um, enough said, right. He's literally a running back and a quarterback in the same body. And I think he's going to continue that. Um, third, I got Patrick Mahomes. Um, I got to go with Pat Holmes. Um, Self-explanatory. Uh, fourth, I have Russell Wilson. I think Russell Wilson is probably the best quarterback in football. Um, and he's underrated. And I think um, Pete Carroll. He underrated? I think so. Um, because they don't say he's the best. <laughs> uh, so I, 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 Pete Carroll has said that he's going to take the, 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 you know, the locks off of him and let him sling that ball. You know, Tyler Lockett, DK, yeah, Metcalf. Right. So we'll see. We'll see. He doesn't throw the ball as much as you think. Like no, he, he doesn't. No, so, I mean, they run. I, yeah. They run a lot. They yeah, run, they I, gonna I, run again. I think they yeah. gonna. I think. I think they gonna unleash him this year. At least, at least. I mean, I don't know. All right, Pete Carroll just talking now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. Talking. We'll see. Um, and fifth, I have uh, Matthew Stafford. Uh, I think Matt Stafford is going to be a top five quarterback this year. If you look at last year, um, you look at his stats. Um, three eighty five, two forty five, two ninety one, two sixty five, three sixty four, three forty two, four oh six. Like those are yards. And not to mention he has multiple, you know, three touchdown games, four touchdown games. I think this is his year. I mean, he got hurt last year. He, he was back. on pace, I think, to be like he was a top eight, top seven quarterback. And I they think, think they're gonna run a ball this year. Um, but carry on Johnson and DeAndre Swift, I think not. So um, I, I think that Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones, I think Marvin Jones is going to have a great season this year. Uh, it was unfortunate I didn't pick him up in the draft. I think he's going to be a top 20 wide receiver. And top 20? Top, him, and, him and Kenny Marvin Galladay. Jones? Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones will be top 20 wide receivers. 
And um, also, I have a sleeper um, tight end, and I will. Hockinson? Yeah, but I, I'm gonna say that later. Save that for okay. later. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Matt Stafford's a little tough for me, but I understand. Um, my uh, my top five is I'm gonna go Lamar. I think you know. I think you know. Expecting him expecting him to have 1,200 yards rushing again is probably maybe a lot, but I think he's still gonna crack the thousand. I think yeah, he's still gonna crack a thousand. Maybe he's gonna probably have a regression, maybe in touchdown passes. He's probably not gonna lead the league in touchdown passes again, but still, I mean he didn't have a lot of rushing touchdowns though. No, he, he didn't. So uh I think uh Lamar is still my number one just because you know what fantasy is, he going it doesn't matter, he's gonna be top poly five in fantasy every week at the quarterback position because it's his running ability. Um Patrick is number two for me. I think he just gonna come back trying to prove himself even more. Uh, being MVP discussion, he's going to probably throw for 5,000 yards again, uh, 40 touchdowns. Uh, you can put him in for that. Number three for me is Kyler. I think Kyler, Adam Dehop, uh, I think he's going to get closer to that 4,000 yards rush, um, 4,000 yard passing. I think he'll get probably be above 500 yards rushing, probably around 600 yards rushing. Um, and I, that's what I think he's going to be number three for me. Um, my number four is I had um, Dak. I got Dak. I think Dak can throw for a lot of yards, throw for a lot of touchdowns. I think Michael Gallup is um, – I think Michael Gallup and Amari are more so the top 20 duo than more so than you saying Marvin Jones and Kelly Galladay is. I think them two are the top two. Um, maybe like like Julio Jones and Ridley, and I think – and I think uh, <clears throat> uh, Cooper and um, – I just forgot Woods. his name. Remember no, Woods? I mean uh, – yeah, Michael Gallup. I don't know. No, Michael Gallup and um, oh, well, Amari Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah Amari, Amari Cooper, Cooper are going to be the other. It's going to be – I mean, they the potentially, but I think number two for sure, that's going to be in the top 20, both both of them. Um, and my number five is Deshaun Watson. I think Deshaun Watson is going to be a, a do-it-all. I think Deshaun Watson is going to be a do-it-all guy. He's going to – I mean, he got – some. he's going to throw the long ball. You know he's one of the best long ball throwers in the league, and he got all fast wide receivers. They all just run 40. They, if they all stay on the field, he's just going to throw the ball. Yeah, won't. but are they going to stay much. on the field? They got Brandon Cooks and Will Fuller. Like the two but Brandon, Cook, Brandon Cooks are – it's got a, a bad rap. He, th- last year was his first year he, he missed any games ever. He, he got played. concussions, though. Yeah, but I'm saying that's the he got he do have concussions. But last year was the first year he missed any games in his whole career. He played all in a four years straight thousand yard receiver. So if he can stay healthy, I know it's a big if, but he's been healthy his whole career. Yeah. Um, so you can, I mean you give him that, and I think David Johnson is one of the better passing catching um, backs in the league. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to throw the ball. He's going to help him out, and I think Deshaun Watson will be in my top five. We think it's sports, but sometimes we don't know. We asking everybody to just tune into our show. We think it's sports, 